Hello everyone, I'm Redilyn Yungul, a senior high school mathematics teacher. In this video, we will represent an inverse function through its table of values and graph, find the domain and range of an inverse function, and solve problems involving inverse function with the use of Kasha classes. The examples and steps to be discussed in this presentation are also indicated in the Kasha book about inverse function. But before we begin, Remember that a given function has an inverse function if and only if the given function is a one-to-one -one function. One-to-one -one function when its graph intersects at exactly one point. Also, the domain of a one-to-one -one function is the range of its inverse, and the range of the one-to-one -one function is the domain of its inverse. To easily understand what I am saying, let us proceed to the first example. Kindly take note that the basic buttons to be used in our first example, these are x and uh, the exponent buttons. To graph this function, we will use the table menu of Casio Class Suites. Just press menu and uh, 9. We input the function by pressing 2, x, and then the exponent button, cube, Press the right arrow key, minus 1. After that, we press equal sign twice. Now assign values for x by completing the table range. Let's say negative 3 to positive 3. So we press equal button to input each value. Negative 3 equals 3 equals. Okay. After this, for the interval of values, let us leave this as one unit. Then press again the equal button to reveal the table. With this table, at first we can say that the domain is the set of real numbers. Same with the range of the function. It is the set of real numbers. But let us confirm this with its graph. From the table of values on the screen, press Shift and the Option. A QR code will be flashed on the calculator screen. Scan it using QR code scanner or using Casio Edu Plus app. Then, open the link once the QR code is scanned. You will be directed to Worldwide Education Service of Casio that presents the graph of the given function. With this graph, we can confirm that f of x equals 2x cubed mi minus 1 is one-to-one -one function and its domain and range are the set of real numbers. So the domain of f of x equals 2x cubed minus 1 will be the range of its corresponding inverse function and the range of f of x equals 2x cubed minus 1 will be the domain of its inverse function. To clearly understand that given this table of values, for the given function, we interchange the domain and the range. So this will lead us to the table of values of its corresponding inverse function. Now, still given the function f of x equals 2x cubed minus 1, let us identify its inverse. First, replace f of x by y. Then, we interchange y and x. Then, we derive an equation in terms of y. That is, add 1 to both sides of the equation. Then, divide the equation by 2. Finally, get the cube root of the equation. So, the inverse of the given function denoted by f raised to negative 1 of x is cube root of the quantity x minus 1 over 2. Let's try another example. Again, using the table menu of Casio Classwiz, input the given function by pressing the following. So we press on AC, and then we input the function. So we press fraction button, input 2x minus 1, right arrow key, and the x. And then again, we press the equal sign twice. Observing the table of values for x equals 0, f of x is an error. 
This means that zero is not part of the domain. That is, the domain is the set of real numbers except zero. To graph this function, press Shift, Option, then scan the QR code flashed on the screen. Again, you will be directed to Worldwide Education Service of Casio that presents the graph of the given function. With this graph, obviously, the function is one-to-one. -one, and so, it has a corresponding inverse function. So, that's it for this video. Thank you and have a good day.